With the increasing amount of popularity of soccer in the United States, many people are going out for this new and exciting sport. But before playing the game, you must learn a bit about the fun fundamentals. But where did the game originate from? And what are the benefits to playing soccer? Well, during the speech, I'll talk about the history of soccer, three different ways on how to kick a soccer ball, and the benefits to playing this very fun game. Let's kick into this presentation and start on the history of soccer. Okay, so no one really knows when soccer was first originated and where it was originated, but scientists can have some pretty accurate guesses. They can guess that soccer started in the third century BC by the Chinese. The Chinese started playing soccer because they were the first to implement the no hands rule. They played with a leather ball filled with soft fur. But ever since then, there had been many technological advances in the game of soccer. For example, the 2022 World Cup in Qatar played with a motion sensor ball that was made by Adidas. This tracked the ball's movements and speed during the game. Of course, as time goes on, many technological advances will happen in the game of soccer. Now, let's blow this whistle and start the demonstration on how to kick a soccer ball. So the first kick I'm going to be showing you is an inside kick, but first we need to get prepared. The soccer ball you need needs to be appropriate uh, air pressure. And as you can tell, I can push in this soccer ball super hard. So this is not this would not be a good example, but I just have to use it for the demonstration. It needs to be not super rock solid, but not too easy where I can push in like this. And then secondly, soccer is usually played on grass. So when kicking the ball, you need to find an appropriate piece of the ground that's stable enough to kick the ball. Now let's get right into kicking the ball. So the first kick I'm going to be showing you is with the inside part of your foot. This kick, you need to start with having a planter foot, and this planter foot will decide where, the, where you're going, like where you're passing the ball to. And then next, once you put your planter foot down, you need to swing around your leg and kick with the inside part of your foot. Now, this will be representing my foot, and it'll be hitting the ball right in the middle part, so it has an accurate and fast-paced kick. Then once you're done with the kick, you need to swing your leg fully through so it officially goes to where you're gonna kick the ball. The next kick I'm going to be showing you is with the laces part of your foot. Of course, we gotta get prepared again and feel the, the air pressure of the ball and find a good spot on the ground to kick it. Now this kick also has your planter foot and then, but instead of swinging your leg back and forth like the the inside part of your foot, you're going to kind of curve your foot to hit with the top part of your laces. And depending on where you want to kick the ball is where you're going to hit the ball with your foot. Now, the third kick I'm going to be showing you is a more advanced kick with the outside part, part of your foot. It's called, it's mostly used for cutting. So with this kick, it's going to be a little different because you're going to be standing mostly in game and not stationary. So you're gonna have an athletic stance and then with this foot, it's not really a planter foot, it's just kind of there. And then put most of your body weight on your non-dominant planter foot and hit with the outside, kind of on the outside of your foot right here. Now that we know how to kick a soccer ball, let's talk about the benefits on playing soccer and what these kicks can do in game. So the first kick I showed you was an inside foot kick and this, Players use this kick to pass and connect with the team. This benefits the whole team in soccer because it can help build up to score goals together. The second kick I showed you was with your laces part of the foot. This kick will help with speed dribbling and shooting. Kicking with your laces provides a, a, strong, a strong kick and can be more accurate on where you're kicking the goal. Going speed dribbling can help you come at defenders super fast and get, their, get them off their feet. And then the last kick I showed you was with the outside part of your foot, which is when you're trying to get around a defender and doing moves to get around them. And these kicks can be used in game, but also these are beneficial for just other players like dual athletes. So playing soccer can help your leg muscles grow, help your cardiovascular health, and also, can help your foot-eye coordination for other sports. Now let's kick into back gear and go over what we've learned today. 
So first, I talked about the history of soccer, demonstrated to you three different types of ways to kick a soccer ball, and lastly, showed you the benefits that kicking a soccer ball or just playing soccer in general can help you with. Hopefully this presentation makes you more inclined to try kicking a soccer ball in your future. Thank you.